let's consider demo first of local olama in docker with the gpu uses so here my application is you know one of the ti integration app is running and i just integrated that you know local olama uh, you know local olama in this app and uh, let's see how that look like like how how get response quickly so simply i can ask that question okay now see i can ask the question hi and also uh, tell me tell me about yourself okay so if i ask that tell me about yourself so definitely it will give something about is like what's what kind of model and what kind of things right so they will provide their informations now see i'm getting the response and it is also just how quickly render you uh, know steam rendering the data over here about his uh, um, about about his that model okay now i'm getting the response completely so that we have to achieve in this session and i'll show you like how we can use you know your local olama using the docker with the gpu uses so that you can get that fast response and even you can see this is also my uh, that uh, api hosted url which is locally hosted and also you can see this is you know olama is running right so let moving to start to implementation so before i start to implementation i'm especially recommend if you first time visit my channel go to my channel which is dot net real world example and you can see many many other stuff also over there to learn learning perspective so you can learn as a full stack developer even ai integration in dot net and you know as a front end back end you know everything is over here so you can learn and uh, specific things which you want okay so what you can do two, two things actually required one is that on uh, a uh, that docker and uh, other things actually just gpu so let me show you my configuration this is a very you know middle or you know not high or not low configuration but it is a you know uh, as a mid middlest uh, configuration in my machine so i have also a gpu card so that's why i just created this video because i'm 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 not recommend to you use this cpu using this olama and all ai integration so that because it is a heavy model right those are a heavy model so it is very very slow as of now also you can see my gpu is going to 40 percent 50 percent just because i'm i'm using the many app over here to recording and all right so that's why it's taking so much you know uses but if you if i'm not using this those you know video recording and all so definitely it is only just four to five percent is use only and also there's a much faster can get that response whatever i am getting right now using this video recording okay so that keep in mind so what i will do uh just install first or oh, you know docker so if you go to that uh, docker over here and in this docker uh you have to just install in docker over here quickly in the window system if you are window and uh, anywhere so you can use it uh mac also is fine so once you're done what you can do go to that command prompt open any command prompt over here and and here few command actually we have to uh, we have to record over here right so what are the command first first actually i have to uh, go back to here okay so here uh, you have to use you uh, know uh, that image first you have to just copy one image and download you know, and a docker image first so once you complete your docker so you can just check it okay docker is installed or not so you can just simply check it okay docker is installed now docker command is there then if you you have to use this another command to download that image so this is that command docker pull olama slash olama and it enter and it will just start to download your in your machine okay so once you're done uh, you will see this it is completed right and uh, once your image is done now go to open that you know me in your docker desktop and go to that image section you will see this image okay so this image could be run uh, could be you know installed over here right and once your image is done now second command would be i have to run this image inside a container okay and also we have to uh, no, uh, consider as a gpu uses not a cpu uses okay so how we can do that so there is a two command if you run your 
ulama or any you know ai model in your uh, local with the cpu uses in inside the docker so this is that command so this is for the cpu uses without specify any gpus okay so i'm not recommend this one because this is very 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 slow okay so that's why i what i will prefer i will prefer to you use that this command so this command basically i have just specify this only right gp uses so using this gp uses and also i'm the specific container and you know container port or an olama olama port and image name on all so these are actually that command and using this command so let me you know explain what is that okay so docker run okay and d attach and then gp uses and this is where actually i want to install my look olama so i want to o o install the locum olama in my docker container here itself and this is my you know container uh, port number and this is my you know olama which will run in our local host so this is the port number and this is i'm specify the container name and this is my image name okay so once you're done so simply you can just hit enter so once you hit enter now see i it is saying already in use in a container that's why because i already i have this you know if you go to that container now see i have already as a olama container name right so that's why it is saying uh it is already used but if you if you doing in your site so definitely it will just it will it will give you know some identity key that's it okay so once you're done now you can just check it you have to just you know you can just run this one like directly over here like for example once you click this guy now see you will see this local host is running with this olama is running intense right so that means it will saying olama is running so once you olama is running now we have to install one uh you know, models so now it's come in the picture in the model so what is the model now see this is the olama right and after that if you go to that you know this is the official website olama and once you go to that model uh section you will see many many models okay so these are model actually our ai model okay Be based on that their company so i will use this model over here like uh, you know olama run llama 3 right so this will be install me in my local pc okay so what i will do for this command so this command i have to do okay let me clear first okay then i have to use docker right and in this docker i will execute this command uh, e execute e x e c and then i specify this you know it and then i have to specify that our container name so my container name olama right and then oh that after that after that i have to specify this command okay so let me use this command and whatever command you want whatever model you want you can just add over here like olama run and like i'm using that uh, llama 3.2 so i can use is the 3.2 like whatever model like you if you want to use the deep seek so you can you change it to this deep seek okay and hit enter so once you hit enter now it will try to install your uh no uh this model so once you complete you will to see this kind of screen over here and you can check it like how quickly we are getting the response so i'll show you that parallelly now see as of now uh, my cpu uses is almost 50 percent right without without uh running anything so that i want to show you parallelly like it is using cpu or gpu right so that i want to show you okay so let me ask okay okay hi let me ask the hi and once you hi now see i'm getting the quickly response but it is not reach up to that uh, that point but yeah because it is a, a small response so let me ask that uh okay tell me about yourself okay so let me ask that little big response over here now see i'm just getting a quick response not a very you know take time taking per uh response but yeah as of now it's good and also you can see it is going to 100 percent just because and also if you observe over here now see there's no impact on cpu right because i am i'm my uh, this olama is running in my gpu only right inside this container so that's why it is consuming only gpu and uh, it is already 60 percent is taking just because my you know video configuration and i you know video recording and all so that's why but yeah 
if i am not using that video and all so definitely it, it will be more than five fast over here if, as a demonstration so that's fine but yeah uh, that is the way you can just check it definitely you will get you know uh, 20x faster or you know more than 50x faster rather than G cpu uses okay now i'm getting that response over here so once you get that response now i will use this as a my application so i have already as a one application okay so this is my one of that you know python application i'll share this uh, one also i'll also you can get my previous session and all you will get this this one okay and simply this is nothing just implement you know uh, that olama model i have to specify the olama model and my olama url and based on this i can run this application and this this application will uh, you know talked with my you know local uh, you know olama hosted url and it will get that response and populate it in my uh, over here so how we can run this application it's simple so there's a recommend uh, few you uh, know few uh dependencies over here so that you have to install first right so for that you have to go to some of that okay let me it is running i guess already so let me close that right and uh, let me close and uh, you just use that you know uh, install command over here like pip install right and uh, you can specify that uh, r and then specify the file okay so this is that command you can just use it to you know install the dependency if you doing first time so that will be install all that you know dependency so once you're done now go back to over here and you can just run this application as a stimlet so use that stimlet okay and just use stimlet run and use your uh, file name so which is my file name so this is my file name deb okay dab uh, savy.py and once you run now see application got running over here and you will see this interface like we are you can just put that inter uh, input and you can get that response okay and uh, also i can if i okay so let me really show this two way like two things together so that i can check that how actually get that response and how utilize the cpu is so as of now 50 percent and once i click that high so now see i'm getting quickly response and what is dot net if you ask that another you know little long response so let's see okay now i'm getting that response over here but you, you can observe over here it is reaching to cpu you know uh, first it is reaching to 100 percent then it just low down and after that it's getting the response and also it is showing that response quickly right so that's that's a way so okay now uh now i'm going to test uh, to close that video uh, video apps so as of now i just close everything now you can able to see uh, i have cpu uses you know very you know 90 percent because i close that application and now i will show you how how actually look like you know real real testing over here so what i will do first let me open my uh, that application over here and that parallelly i'll show you like let me just refresh first so that i can show you that from the scratch and uh, here what i will do simply just press high so once you high now i am getting that response quickly and what is dot net and once if i just click that what is dot net now it is reaching see it is reaching 80 percent and once but yeah i i get that response quickly and after that just it is less down in a seven percent so that is actually that main uses of gp uses so if you use the gpu so definitely it will you know 50x uh, faster rather than in your cpu right so that's i'm getting that response quickly so that's why i just you know create a you know this recording you know stop that our video recording and all so how actually we are also if i ask okay tell me or or just give me give me hundreds a uh, list of of the 
डॉट ने टेक्नोलॉजी आई डोंट थिंक सो इट्स है बट बट या लेट मी जस्ट क्विकली आस्क दिस क्वेश्चन सी वॉट दे आर गिविंग दैट रिस्पॉन्स ओवर हियर सो नाउ आई एम गेटिंग रिस्पॉन्स लिटिल डीले नॉट अम वेरी मच डीले बिकॉज इट इज जस्ट थिंकिंग फर्स्ट इट इज नो मेनी मेनी इट इज डज नो एट अ कॉम्प्लेक्स नो ई थिंग सो दैट्स वाई जस्ट गेटिंग द रिस्पॉन्स इवन दे आर ट्राइंग टू लिस्ट दिस हंड्रेड आई गेस द टेक्नोलॉजी so that is also fine right because see how much you are getting that response and then i can show it over here within a you know within a 2 second or 5 second or 10 second that is fine if you uh, try to learn in your local integrations right and also see they are i guess they will meet 100 because my prompt was only for 100 that's why okay yeah that's fine yeah now see they are giving that complete 100 technology of dot net right so that is fine and also if i see over here how actually working or how look like in our in here how response faster in our uh, you know command line also like like me hi yeah see it is so fast right and even let me what is dot net right let me ask this question and see okay my god now see this is actual response actually so but yeah whatever app you are using so that is also fine but yeah this is actually a response it is providing me using this in a um, in a docker container now see i am getting that complete response even if i ask okay give me or, or let me copy that one so that i don't want to ask again and see how how much time it will taking from that command itself like if i ask same questions over here so go back to here and uh, if i ask this question and see now see how quick we are getting that response right it is so quick so that's why it is saying like 100x faster or 50x faster i think rather than you know the cpu uses now see i'm getting the response within a 5 second with complete 100 list right so that is fine even one last thing i would like to show you like in a postman also so that postman how we are getting that response how much ta taking time this complete you know, because is a stream rendering right so if we if we are not using that stream rendering how we are getting that response so let me just hit enter so yeah it is taking almost 43 second just because it is giving that complete response together not a stream stream response so that's why it's taking around you know, 43 seconds but yeah if i just do one more time so it will take you know less time because i i observe many time like it is first time it's taking some time but after after you know uh, running properly it's getting or uh, returning you know uh, in a less time of that first time okay now almost near by this you know nearby that uh, previous time but yeah that's all so yeah that's all for this session and uh, thank you have a nice day and don't forget to like subscribe and share